What's up everybody? This is going to be another wedge video. Um, the previous one I did talking about a distance control system would be similar to this. However, there are a couple technique adjustments um, as we work on shots from inside of 30 yards. So more your uh, close to the green shots where we don't want the ball coming off the face too hot and we still want to be able to control distance. So again, using a 60 degree, um, I'm going to work on a quick drill or technique to try to get um, myself to keep more loft on the club. And uh, for that, I'm just gonna sort of fix a T inside of my glove like this. When I'm hitting full swing shots or more flighted wedge shots, as I take the club back, I'm trying to point this T more down at the ball and away from me. But as I hit pitch shots, which are shorter, and I want to come off spinnier, softer, um, not be as driving of a ball flight, um, sort of a finesse type of shot. I'm going to take the club back and I'm going to try to get the tee to point more up in the air. And you're going to see that that keeps the face open, which means I'll be able to deliver lots of loft. It's also going to keep the bounce exposed. Um, if you're like me, I play with four degrees of bounce. This is an L grind from Titleist. And that's not much. So when I open the face, it adds a little bit, which helps me have some forgiveness to uh, the contact that I'm getting with the ground. When I'm working on this from a technical standpoint, I'm gonna go through a bit of block practice. So as I take my practice swings, and as I hit the actual ball, I'm trying to basically do the same thing repeatedly, which is get my knuckles up, feel some forearm rotation, get that T to face more in the sky, and I'm just gonna try to repeat it every single time. similar ball speeds, similar carry distances, and I'm trying to generate a feel with my hands and arms for the difference in this kind of a swing versus my full swing. Once I have that uh, more or less sorted out, I might do this early in the week leading up to a tournament. I'm then going to shift my practice to more of a uh, random practice, work on touch control, work on hitting the ball different distances each time I make contact. And I think if you're in a simulator getting ready to go to Florida, or if you're at the chipping green with limited space, um, you can sort of take a flag out of the equation and just try a ladder drill. Very simply trying to hit every ball further than the previous shot that you hit and work on controlling the swing length, the club speed, um, and be able to carry the ball different distances. So as I was taking the club back, to me, it felt like shaft parallel on the way back to shaft parallel on the way through. If I want to hit the ball shorter than that, I'm going to take the puck back shorter and I'm going to follow through shorter. That's going to reduce my ball speed to go shorter. If I want to keep my contact the same, I want to keep the feel of the swing the same, but hit it farther. I take it back farther, I take it through farther, and that's going to help me Again, control how far the ball goes without losing solidness of contact, without losing um, things like spin, and uh, just have better touch control. So if you split up your practice into block practice and random practice, it helps you nail your technique every time you play, and it also helps you have a feel from around the greens. So hopefully you found this video helpful, um, and just watch for the next one.